Johnny Mac, baby. Look, girl. I've been here since the 70s. Look at those biceps. I just had a jelly donut, by the way. Come on. Look at the Johnny Mac, baby. That's what I'm talking about. My addiction just kind of goes from one category to another. And that's why I'm Johnny Mac. Welcome back to Cooking with Johnny Mac. Uh, we're, in the, we're in the summer, man. July just started, and uh, I'm happy to be here. I am a little hungry, so if I look a little sweaty, I, I, I did get bit by a snake a little earlier. And, you know, that's my line to everybody. You know, when you're a little overweight, it's like, fuck, man, I look like I'm snake bit. You know, I'm always perspiring. I become that guy. Anyway, girls, I just got back from Japan. Look at this shirt. Really? Nah. I just bought the shirt online. I liked it. <laughs> But however, I do love the Japanese culture, and I wish I had gone to the Japanese fish market. I love this shirt. Sean, is it a little tight? Let me be honest. It shows the muscles. It's athletic no, fit. No, tell the truth, because they did go up a size. It's on its way. It's coming it's, in the mouth. It's athletic fit, uh, is what it is. I don't know if I told you it happened. Uh, I'm getting into trouble lately. I do get into trouble, but it's a couple of weeks ago, an account fired me. You know, it was the last of uh, a whole group, and I really love the guy, the chef, but... The guy that ran it was like a manager. He was just a lazy dude, man. So I, I, after I was officially out of the account, I texted him. I felt bad afterwards because I, you know, I called him a zero and a lazy fuck, and he fires back with, "I'm a fat fuck." So I'm like, wow, man, that fat fuck rang out all day. I used to be so skinny, I couldn't put a pound on. And. Uh, uh, fuck you, you fat fuck. I can hear his accent through the phone. But anyway, that <laughs> happened, and then a few weeks later, I'm in a restaurant, and I'm three tables down from some guy. And him and his dumb wife and his friend and his dumb wife are listening to this guy like uh, he's he's a brain surgeon. And they were talking politics, and I don't need to get into who they were talking about. But I was just forced to say something. I don't know why. I maybe you know I'm a little off somewhere. But I, I said, "Who are you talking about?" And he gets up, man. He wants to like fight for a minute. He, he gave me like 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 the bear move. Ah, he gets up, and uh, he called me lonely guy in the corner. So I got lonely guy in the corner and fat fuck in two weeks. So that's that. Uh, I did tell the guy I wasn't afraid. I think he thought I was uh, packing. Maybe he he backed out. Folks, we got a beautiful halibut dish today. Uh, the guy wanted to cut it up in steaks, but I have the halibut here. I cut it in medallions. I mean, this, this is really fresh fish. I went to the market. The guy just laid it right in front of me. And, and I don't know if you noticed, but uh, halibut, these fish, they, they're gi giant flounders. And I don't know if you ever saw, saw a halibut, but they uh, they get up to about 700, 800,000 pounds. And they, they, swim like a, they swim like a doormat, man. You know, like a magic carpet. Um, so we're going to sear this off. I'm going to make a classic fur blanc. I was going to use a lot of lavender and try to be fancy and, you know, take out my tweezers and like pinch the lavender a little bit. But I don't know if you ever tasted lavender. Like I have this lavender extract. It tasted like bug spray. So I think we're going to back off the lavender. We're going to do a little hint of lavender tea in there. But it's really going to be, uh, you know, just a classic fur blanc. You know, white wine. I got a little lemon in there. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And uh, just gonna grill up some summer corn, and I got some garlic, some garlic uh, smashed potatoes. Uh, and it's, it's in a weird looking shape, so uh, we're gonna plate that in a little while. What I put here is uh, a classic for a blanc. We, we're not finished yet, but this is like uh, a cup and a half of white wine, the juice of two lemons, and I put a little sprinkle of lavender in there as my herb. And uh, Gordon, I'm waiting for you. Capiche? <laughs> Alright, so, and then we're gonna reduce this down. We'll, we'll show you afterwards uh, when it gets down to a nice pulp. We're gonna whip in some butter and a little cream. What I like to do is always season my fish, right? I don't, I'm not a big flour guy. I mean, you can technically dredge it in a little flour, and a lot of people do that. I just hate it. I, I just hate it. I don't know why. Even when I saute veal, 
just try to use a hotter pan so it doesn't stick, but it also thickens the sauce a little bit. So I, I like to salt and pepper everything on both sides, so that's what I'm gonna do. You know, let it rest until you're ready to pick, you know, serve. And I'm gonna show you that when we're done. I'm gonna grill some corn for us, because why not? It is summer. But you always pull the oil towards the front so you don't burn yourself. You see that move right there? I wanted to go over there, just basically did a little salt and pepper. I mean, the corn's not the star here. I don't even know what the star is, man. But anyway, we, we're charring some corn. I just did some uh, little olive oil, salt and pepper. I do got a butter sauce with that, so I think it'll work nice with the fish. I'm gonna cut them in uh, medallions, the corn. I also did the fish in medallions, um, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is just pop that in the oven. Uh, this is halibut, and then for the sauce, it's a fur blanc. I got a shit, two shallots in there, a cup and a half. Well, not really a cup and a half. It's like a, yeah, a cup and a half of white wine, the juice of two lemons, and I put a little lavender in there. And we're gonna reduce that down. I also threw some uh, some lemon zest in there. And then when that gets down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bind it with a little cream, and then I'm gonna whip some butter in there, slowly. Well, look at this corn, man. Come on, this is indoor, I don't have a barbecue. We're gonna char this baby up. And then uh, the last thing I have here is a piece of garlic potato. This was easy. All I did was I blanched these for 10 minutes. I smashed these down with like a fork or you can use a, a potato masher. And then I just whipped in three tablespoons of olive oil with uh, two cloves of garlic chopped up. Well, I actually minced them in a, in a, in a you know, a, a, what do you call those things? Mincer? Garlic press. Oh yeah. Garlic press. And salt and pepper. So we're gonna throw these in the oven now and we're gonna char these up a little bit. Takes about 15 minutes at 350. Uh, you can also put them in the broiler if you want. It's a good, great, great item with fish. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You can puree basil in there at the end and make a basil brook or you know, infuse other stuff in there. Uh, saffron, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, so I used to like, I like to hit it with a little cream and that's what I'm gonna do now. And I'm just gonna let that, you know, come together. I'm gonna reduce it down again and then I'm gonna open melt butter in there. So what I'm doing here is just slowly mounting in some butter. And like I said, you always want to take it off the heat. This is perfect right here. I haven't made this in over 10 years. You know, I guess some things are riding the bike. It's like riding a bike. So I'm just going to mount this in, right? And uh, I'm going to strain this. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. A little dash. Be crazy. And prior to that, I'm going to put my fish right here. Take out my potatoes right here. These are garlicky potatoes. Um, okay, so I started off with a cup and a half of wine, lemon, juice of like a lemon and a half. I put a little lavender in there as my herb, and um, two shallots. And then you reduce that down, and I put in about four tablespoons of butter. And this is ready. This is exactly how you want it. So if you're in a restaurant, you would just keep this in a warm space. So I'm gonna strain it right now into here. I know I got the smallest strainer in the world. Sorry for that. There you go. I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in there and a little pinch of pepper. I'll whip this up. And here we go, baby. We're plating our halibut, our summer halibut. And it's looking pretty damn good, right, Sean? Oh my God. Yeah. Shawnee, come on, man. It looks so good. Look at that. Okay. I want to say it. This is what I'm talking about. I don't. Out there. New York City. 